Suppose that A is a subset of B, show that B complement is a subset of A complement by way of contradiction. So what I wanted to do here is quickly set up these Venn diagrams showing the two sides of this. A is in B, so all of the elements of A are also in B because A is a subset of B. This is how this Venn diagram looks. On the opposite side, we have A complement, which I've drawn with green lines here, and B complement. So you can see that B complement is contained in A complement. A has all of this, A complement has all of this extra, uh, I guess, space you can call it on this Venn diagram that contains all of B plus more of A. So we can see that A complement covers all of B complement plus some more. So B complement is in fact a subset of A complement. So to get to the proof by contradiction, We're given A is a subset of B show B complement is a subset of A complement. So with a contradiction, we want to start with the opposite. So we start here with B complement is not a subset of A complement. So this means that there exists an x such that x is an element of B complement, but x is not an element of A complement. That makes sense, right? Is not an element of A complement, because we have B complement, not a subset of A complement. So there is an x in B, and that doesn't necessarily mean that there is an x in A. But if there is no x in A, This means that x does exist. Excuse me, if, if we said there's x isn't an element of a complement, then x is an element of a, right? If it's, if it's not outside of a, it's inside of a. But we were given a is a subset of b. So this means that there exists an x such that x is an element of a. And that implies, like our Venn diagram shows up here, if it is in A, then it is in B. So X is an element of B. But here's our contradiction. I'll just put it in different ink here. We just said that X is an element of BC, and it can't be both. So this implies that in fact, B complement is a subset of A complement. 